very kindly invited down to Goodwood by BMW Park Lane. This is the first time I've ever been here and the cars will be driving out down there and annoyingly it's just started to, uh, to rain um, which is typical and the rear wheel drive cars so hopefully it kind of clears up in a little bit but it's not forecast to continue all day I'm so excited to get on, the, on track because I've always wanted to do it and I've never I've never done it before and this track I've never actually been to like I've never been to the festival of speed or anything like that so I kind of need to brush up on my uh, knowledge of this specific track so that I'm a bit more confident when I'm going around but yeah I'm, I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited but yeah I'm gonna get into the day so I will I'll catch up with you soon there's a nice selection of cars here I'm really looking forward to driving an M5 competition because they're my favorites and I feel a little bit more confident on track going around because it is all-wheel drive but yeah if I can get in an M4 an M5 competition I will be, uh, be very happy yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's also minis as well. I think we'll be going out in one of these. Yeah. John Cooper works. M8 competition. So I've just got my helmet on, it's, <laughs> I decided to go with black, I didn't want to be white and stand out too much, but yeah, these are the cars that were going in, I've got the GoPro to sit inside, um, and what I said is basically just go over to the car that you like really want to go inside of and uh, kind of claim it, so yeah, that's the rest of the group over there. Square middle of the road. Middle, yeah. 
road looking for the green arrow. Put the squeeze on the power, over to the right, into the apex. Put a bit of power. So this is our last lap this time. Okay. I've just done the first session. I took the M3 around. Um, I couldn't film inside, but I do have the 360 cam, so hopefully I've managed to be able to put the footage in there. We're just sorting out a zip tie to be able to do the next bit of filming. This is group two that's out at the moment, where group one, it's so good. I think top speed were like 103, but I didn't want to go too fast, uh, especially for the first time, because, uh, yeah, like I said, I've never done it before, but such a good experience so far. We've got two more runs. I'd like to go out in the M5, so I think that's probably what I'm going to go out in next. And then I think I'm going to try and get in the M8, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm just going gonna, gonna to run over to it and claim it. I've been like, yeah, that's mine. There were one, one part which was like right over there that was a little bit slippy, but I managed to hold it together. I've done a decent run for my first time, but yeah, let's get some uh, photos done now. As these are all setting off. I'm going in, well, fingers crossed I can go in one of the M5s. I'm gonna try and get the GoPro in this time. We've got like a little mechanism that we've set up. Oh, I'm gonna to attempt to set up and put inside the car, but yeah. I'm gonna sort of head this way, because there's one coming in at the moment. I'm gonna try and claim that one. So I've managed to get the M5. Is this what you've just been in? Yeah. How is it? Good. I mean, I want the M8. You want yeah. the M8? No, no, I'm going in this uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Stick as well. yeah, yeah. yeah. film you going by the noise would be so much better. Oh that's all right. <laughs> I'm not putting it in Sport Plus. No no no. So you've still got all the traction control. Oh, that's all right. But just just be aware you'll have a fair bit of power here. It's four wheel drive and it's a two and a half ton car so you be very careful. Yeah yeah yeah. You can keep going though. Okay yeah. Alright so 
pointed at the arrow. Yeah, towards the arrow. A little bit of power into the apex. Nice and steady. This is good. Straight line to it. Nice gentle break. Left front wheel beside it before you turn into that apex. Now start looking at the last white square on the curve on the left. Yeah. Now keep it in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road, looking for that green arrow on the left. All the way out to it. Move it across to the right. Ready for the kink. All the way into the apex, squeezing a bit of power. Straight line through now. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of braking, nice and gently. Yeah. And the end of your braking coincides with the red arrow. Yeah. Wide round the corner, left wheel beside that chevron, right wheel beside the apex. Last white square on the curb, looking to get our left front wheel beside the turn marker. And tight on the right wheel, tight on the left. Get the wheels straight, and then you've got the opportunity to try out the power on this one.
chunk of lock on that it didn't lead right. out to the left. Okay, we're going in the pits this time. Yeah. It's just knowing that I can go closer to the edges. Yeah. Now you're doing really well. Yeah. I'm, a, yeah. I'm not saying you're a racer. No, 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 no. I'm <laughs> Compared to your first few laps yeah, in the yeah, last yeah. car, we've come a long way and I think we'll go a long way in the next um, session. M5 or would you? I might say have a crack in something else. Yeah? There are the easiest car where you'll learn the most. Yeah. Is probably the 135, the M135. Oh yeah. Or this Z4. Okay. I've just got back from driving the M5 and that was probably one of the best experiences. I felt so much more confident and as you will have seen from the, uh, the GoPro footage, it, it was very complimentary. It, sometimes I think it was a bit like, oh, at some of the corners and stuff, but I felt so much better driving that one um, because of the all wheel drive. But yeah, I think I, I, think I did two, th no, sorry, three laps on that one, um, but yeah. In. I'm not too sure what I want to go into next um, because it was saying try the 135i which is well this one that's sort of coming past and a couple of people there that is really fun to drive um, so I think I'll probably try and do that one you know um, I've heard a lot of good reviews from people who have been sort of driving that but yeah I'm feeling a little bit better. I do want to go back in an M4 or something like that, but I've driven the M3 um, and then obviously the M5 competition. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to try and get a, a different one this time. But... Yeah, I think I've made up my mind. I think I'm going to go M135i. Hopefully if I can get in. So, I'm going to try and get in an M135i because I've been told by the driver that that's probably one of the best that I can uh, have a go in. So, we'll see. Little baby M. Yeah, I'm just heading over to one now. That's all right, I managed to get one. Let's see what this is like. Right, let's go.
as you get there, look through that apex for the green arrow power. Then you naturally yeah, yeah, yeah. get the lines. Centralized straight line to that turn arrow. Just as you arrive there, you bleed off the brake back onto the power, look through the apex, perfect. Nice firm brake here, right wheel beside it, look through the apex to the cross. Right. Yeah, you're a natural. <laughs> I've just been explaining wrong. Straight the way across. Yeah. Braking, braking. Right the way into this apex. Looking for the end of the curve. Middle of the road as you come through here. Looking for the green arrow. Tight on the right, 
third gear, we're in second. So I lost that. exactly how it's done now. Oh, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> is it in this one that we're going to go yeah, around? Yeah, we're just going to swap seats and yeah. do whatever it is we can. Yeah. Well, I that felt better. I liked that one. That one was much better. Is, uh, thank you. It's going to show me exactly how it's done now, so we'll see. <laughs>
I felt like when I was going around like the first couple of times, I didn't want to, you know, like spin out. Yeah. Um, well, so it's, it's pretty. It's pretty greasy. I'm, yeah. I was finding it. Yeah. It was moving around. Yeah. I wasn't um, 100% inspired by confidence. No. <laughs> it's quite difficult as well when you just have to sort of see this jump in and pull one out the bag like that. Yeah. Well, I was going to say you got to it, getting used to the car and stuff as well is probably going to be the easiest, isn't it? No, thank you for that. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see it being driven around properly. <laughs> Let's just catch up a little bit here. Yeah. So do you think I did all right? On, you did on... all right. Yeah. You improved every lap. So oh, that's um, good. That's that good. was the main thing. I think at the moment they're doing the driver um, laps. And the driver laps were so good to uh, see them driving around. when you are in the passenger seat, get a sense of speed and it, it's just mental. Like. When you uh, experience being sat inside with somebody who actually knows how to do the circuit. So yeah, we've just wrapped things up and as you can tell from my smile, I am, yeah, I don't even know how to describe the whole day, it has just been mental. I cannot thank the guys at BMW Park Lane enough for inviting me down here. First time at Goodwood, first time ever driving on track and actually going on a track. To say that I film quite a lot on track, I've never once been around a track and yeah, what a better way to... Uh, so I finished the day as well with, we took one of the M4s out um, to get some content with and the sun was just setting. We got such a nice sun, well, kind of a sunset, but it was just like flaring through the trees, which you'll see through the, uh, the photographs and stuff. But <laughs> I've absolutely loved it. And again, I cannot thank the guys at BMW Park Lane enough for this opportunity. It has just been mental. I got to drive the M3 competition first. That's what we went out in. M5 competition, M5 competition, my dream car. And yeah, just the speeds and stuff that you can get to going around the track in that. Obviously, uh, not, doing, not doing it too stupidly because obviously this is my first time. Um, and then finished with the M135i. And yeah, to be fair, the M135i was really fun because I got, a little bit more comfortable with the track. The guy who was with me, uh, taking me around, was was so good, he was such a good teacher and he had a lot of faith in me as well, to be fair. To say that I were a little bit nervous, but yeah. I do, yeah, really, really good. And then at the end, which you'll see in the GoPro footage, he showed me exactly how it was done. And, not to uh, like blow my own trumpet, but I uh, did overtake an M8 competition, so, in the 135i, which is mental, and luckily the rain held off. Um, apart from on some of the some of the laps, but yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited to get all this content edited and photographed and everything. So yeah, make sure you check out my Instagram, LukeM.media. I'll be posting a couple of videos, shorts, reels, and photographs and everything like that on there. And yeah, make sure you subscribe and like this video because it really does help. So yeah, I, the, uh, yeah. Such a, such a good day, such a good day. I've really loved it and yeah, thank you BMW Park Lane again for inviting me down.